Good morning, this is Pramod Jaiswal. Today I am going to take MEG 7 literature, Indian literature, and the novel is Untouchable by Mulk Raj Anand. The main character, as the title symbolizes, it describes about the untouchability Baka is the protagonist and his father's name is Lakha. His brother name is, uh, <coughs> his sister's name is uh, Sohini and brother name is Rakha. Father's is L-A-K-H-A. As the story symbolizes, the name symbolizes about untouchability. You see, it has been since years that people are suffering from this uh, evilous attitude and thinking. So uh, I'll, I'll be discussing a very nice question. Baldev is not just a suffering abstraction, but a man of flesh and blood, convincingly portrayed by the author, discuss. This is 20 marks question. Something about the author that he was born in 1905. He is an Indian poet. He was born in Peshawar in Lahore. At present is in Pakistan. He got his education in London and Cambridge. And he lived in England for many years. And finally he came to his village which is in the western India. By caste he is a Chhatri. But he has lived along with them. His childhood has been spent along with them. That's why he has delved into their feelings and sentiments so deeply as if he has experienced the suffering, the pain of these outcast and untouchable people, which has been described by Murkraj Anand, obviously he himself, in this uh, novel. A very touchable scene. So, <clears throat> I'd be try to explain and pen down as far as possible to touch the heart of you people as well. In his childhood, he has played with the children of the sweepers. They were sweepers. He has grown with them. He has perceived the suffering these sweepers had undergone. The humiliation and the oppression they have been subjected to by the society living in a society but being an outcast and fear of being haunted in their mind of not being touched by anyone is unbearable and uneasy. How is it possible to sever asunder, to cut apart the fragrance from flower. It's a childhood from a child. It's not possible. But the upper class people had not only tried, but succeeded in making them live among them, but they have kept them in seclusion. It is a great helplessness and disparity for the outcasts to survive and thrive in such a hostile, unfriendly and terror-stricken ambience surrounding environment. Mulkraj has used his subtle art of brush and knowledge and uh, portrayed the character of his protagonist, Baka. He has not only touched his bruised heart but also perceived his tumultuous, disturbed feelings erupted in his mind, which tranquilized like a motionless sea, as he cannot muster up the courage to combat with them. Obviously, they are oppressed and tortured. The molestation of Baka's sister, this is a very important incident, of how, though being molested, still they cannot raise their voices 
rather they are being tortured. The molestation of Baka's sister Sohini by the priest Kalinath, who made an uproar of being defiled, defiled means becoming impure, by Sohini and created a commotion, a disturbance. Sohini head bowed down, ashamed of the false accusation, told the truth to Baka. Baka was infuriated. He was angry, eyes glaring like an inferno, like a great fire. Sinews and muscles very taut and tightened, ready to aggress and pounce on the priest. But something within him restrained him from attacking. Something within him restrained him, slackened his muscles and doused his anger, the fire in his eyes. He remembered his father's words, reminding him to bear their insult, scold, abuses as they are feeble, tender and timid creatures meant to be trampled and devoured by the scavengers of the society. Their repercussion or retaliation isn't going to give them relief from the subjugation, this servitude, this uh, sort of slavery. Baka cannot come out of this anguish, this pain of being slapped by an uh, immaculately dressed, white dressed, upper class man and people hovering over him, he felt shattered and he was being thrashed and could not relieve himself from this heart-rending agony. Will this suffering ever come to an end? It is his feeling. This is the evil of our society which should be uprooted. Thanks for listening to me. If you like this explanation, please press the like button and share among your friends. Do subscribe to my channel so that you might be getting some time or other something new, something important. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Have a nice time.